Ron, would you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I would be glad to this morning. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the Republic, which is one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Was I cutting out at that time? Yeah, if we're all speaking at the same time, it sort of, you know. Ah, okay. I thought it was. We get it in there, but it's, you know. Um, okay. Okay, I don't think anybody jumped on for public comments. I thought someone might this morning, but I guess they didn't. Um, so we you can have, just go. Uh, one person. Do I have one person? Okay. Are they coming in? Oh, so if this is uh, your public comment time, they can uh, raise the, their hand if they would like to speak at the bottom of their screen. Okay. I don't see any. I see nine participants, but only eight pictures. Eight pictures. Is it a phone call? A phone in? No. So at the bottom of your screen, if you press participants, you can see on the right next to panelists, there's uh, attendees, and it'll show one person attending. Okay. I don't see a name. Oh yeah, I see her, Jenny. Um, she's not raising her hand to. For public comment but okay oh i had to click on the attendees interesting okay jenny from mayfair all right um, now, she, now she's raising her hand <laughs> okay um so i'll uh bring her in and she can give her public comment great thank you Maybe she could just speak without making her come, uh, without her visual. Hi, Jenny. Hi, good morning. I'm sorry, technical issues this morning. <laughs> All right. Um, did you have any public, did you have any comments, Jenny, or? Um... Okay. Um, all right, if we don't have any public comments, we can just move on to the approval of the meeting minutes. Somebody want to approve them? I'll approve them. Thanks, Mark. Can I have a second? Ron? I second it if I can, but I wasn't here last week. I did read them though, and I could approve mm -hmm. them. So I'll second the motion. Excuse me, Marcy? Yeah. I don't think you have a quorum. I don't. Okay. So, so you you can have a meeting for informational purposes, okay. but you can't vote on anything without a quorum. Oh, okay. So you can, right. you can hear that. reports and you can have discussion, and that's that's fine. That's not a problem. But I would okay. just table this until the next meeting. Okay. Have a quorum I'm sorry. Last I month? It looks like last month you had. Four. We did. We had four last month. So that's not a quorum either. Well, September, I thought September 25th. Well, there's only six of us, right? Four. Yeah, I, I would just, just uh, you know, focus on today and um, table table the minutes until next time. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Um, all right, Jean's not here for the secretary's report. Um, Michelle? Um, Michael's trying to get in for the link, so. Uh, let's see. If, I'll send him another um, invitation, but he can come in off the town website if that doesn't work. And okay. We'll come in as an attendee and we'll bring him in as a panelist. Okay. I'll let him know. Okay. We'll just wait for a minute then, Michelle, for for him to come in. 
I think yesterday was the last day for the uh, farmer's market also. So he might have something to say about that. I really want to say it. I'm really impressed that Mike uh, <clears throat> got something like about twenty five, twenty six hundred dollars for the food bank. That's impressive. Yeah. yeah, it looks like we need to get you some more members. If anyone has any any ideas? I submitted someone for uh, that is interested in being a member prior to all this happening and gave her application to, I think the first selectman got a copy of it or your office got a copy of it. I, was, um, I don't know if anyone's re reacted to that yet. Okay, I, I'm gonna look for that. If you can, um, let me see if I can find it. If I can't, I'll contact you. Okay, because she's very, she was very, I haven't talked to her recently about it because didn't hear anything, but. She's on another committee at the hospital with me and she was very interested in joining. Great, okay, I'm, I'm sorry about that, but that's fantastic, thank you. Uh. Well, I have a quiet minute. So at least here, we're just waiting for Mike to come in, I guess. And it looks like Evie's coming on too. Yeah. So now you'd have a quorum. <laughs> Well, everyone should bring our dogs. I bring my dog and we all can have the dogs could talk to each other for a while. <laughs> there you go. I just noticed there's no ability to chat at these meetings. Is that done purposely? It, it is done purposely. So we, we don't want to allow people to have private conversations in the back and things like that. And then attendees can chat back. Is that is that a moderator function to turn on and off? Uh, that is um, a, an administrator setup before the meeting begins. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I never knew that. Thank you. Okay. Michelle, if you want to go ahead and give your report um, I sent Mike the link again, so hopefully he'll get on. Sure. Thank you. So I think um, maybe since last month, I don't know if I mentioned that my drivers are currently delivering all the home delivered meals for uh, our seniors in the community. And we're hoping to get our drivers back on the road. Well, actually they did start. Uh, we're doing medical rides again and we're doing grocery shopping again, but we would like to offer more of that. So we're looking for volunteers who'd like to deliver home delivered meals uh, one day a week. So uh, Cindy actually was just nice enough to help me get this pass real quickly to get a waiver for our volunteers. So we have two already signed up, which is great. We're meeting with them next week. So uh, we are looking for somebody to commit to maybe an hour and a half a week to volunteer for Meals on Wheels. If you guys wanna spread the word, that would be great. Actually, it's not Meals on Wheels. We call it home delivered meals, but it, it's, kind of the same program. I just, I don't want to use their name. So we're not affiliated. 
Is there a specific day, Michelle? Right now we have Monday through Friday open. There's two routes each day and each route takes about an hour to an hour and a half to deliver. Um, you know, all safety precautions are in place. Um, there are insurance requirements for people uh, with their vehicles. And if they don't have that, we can use them as a runner where they can go on the bus with our driver and run the meal to the door. So our drivers uh, don't have to get in and out of the bus and, and so on. Uh, so we have a few opportunities available. And it is in the morning, usually starting at about 9 a.m. Um, Excuse you know, me, Michelle. Yeah. I know there's a, there's a Facebook group called Trumbull Helps. Mm -hmm. And um, I wonder if you can send a little um, blurb about what you're looking for. I can post that on there and you might get some volunteers from there. Oh, great. Okay. I'll do that. I'll do that today. Thank you. Um, you know, as far as the senior center, we're still doing all of our online Zoom events. Uh, I think we have six exercise classes, five art classes, and then we're doing, um, you know, maybe five uh, presentations a month, including a book club and um, some trivia games. So those are all going really well. We were able to um, help sponsor and supplement a grant through the Agency on Aging with all of the donations the communities brought in to get seniors tablets. So we've gotten 15 seniors tablets, which I think is really cool. They're all in their 80s and their 90s, and they're learning how to use technology. So this program screens them, finds a tablet that works for them, and then trains them on how to use it. So that's been very beneficial. Um, they're all just kind of getting up and running. So it's nice to see this new generation coming on and, and joining us. Um, we also offer drive-through events. If, if you guys haven't attended, it's great to come through. People are hesitant to come because they feel like they don't want to take it from someone else. We have so much to share and these drive-through events are like attending one of our holiday luncheons. Just come drive through, say hello to the staff, see the seniors in the parking lot, um, come by and grab an ice cream or donuts or apple cider, whatever it is we're giving away. Um, I know we have some luncheons coming up, so we want everybody to attend. It's, it's really for anybody in the public. They just have to RSVP. Um, let's see. Holidays are coming up. So food pantry donations and toy donations we're doing differently this year. Uh, the community has always been very supportive. And I don't know if you guys have been in our building during the holiday times, but there's food everywhere to give away, which is great. However, we don't want to have that much contact this year with all these individuals dropping off food and donating. So we're gonna be doing uh, collecting gift cards for the holidays, whether it's for food or for families to go shopping for toys for their children. Uh, so we're looking for gift cards in $25 increments to you know, Kohl's, Amazon, Target, ShopRite, any of the big stores near here. Um, and then we have connected with some organizations that will be purchasing food that we've requested so we can still continue to give out food baskets. So that information is on the Senior Center and Social Services website, as well as the volunteer application, by the way, uh, for home delivered meals, that's on our website. Uh, so we've been collecting donations since the beginning of this. As I've mentioned, the town's been very generous. So, um, you know, as I look back and I think of, and how to explain what we've done with a lot of those funds is, um, we've helped cover rent for individuals. We've helped cover utilities for individuals. Uh, obviously groceries, we still deliver 35 grocery bags a week uh, to seniors or they pick them up. Um, the grocery bags have produce, you know, all the items that you, they're just not shelf stable. So those have been really helpful. Um, you know, I look back and at the beginning of all of this, when a lot of our seniors were in crisis and were scared to leave the home, had nobody to go shopping for them, we were actually ordering pizzas and like <laughs> sandwiches from local places and having it delivered to the seniors, which was great. So that we haven't had to do anymore because everybody's kind of settled, but um, the donations have been so helpful and um, we really feel like we're able to help anyone who gives us a call that's really in need. So um, as far as that, everything else is running great and that's all I got. Okay, thanks, Michelle. Is there any old business anybody wants to talk about? Any new business? Well, on the old business, um, is there any more update to the flu shots for seniors that you brought up in the last meeting? I was just curious how what, how that is going. Yes, you know what? I'm sorry, I don't have that date in front of me. It's upstairs where I was. <laughs> but 
there was a there was a drive through event or there is a drive through event for seniors, I know the health department um, has a number of events scheduled on their website. Anyone can call us and we can give them the dates. Uh, but there are a lot of of uh, drive through flu events. Okay, thank you. Um, any new business? Excuse me, if I can just jump on that. I know um, there was an issue with um, uh, flu uh, vaccine uh, availability. And I know we received an update from the health director yesterday and my notes are in my uh, case over on the other side of the room. But I think she said that um, they, they had had problems um, getting flu shot doses, but they've been um, getting additional uh, additional dosages, and I I think I think it's uh, it's better now. Um, and I and they do have um, I know the information is on the website about um, the the flu clinics, so we'd have to look there. Sorry, I don't have the information immediately available. Cynthia, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's something tomorrow at, uh, is it Unity Park? A drive through It could be. Because the health center, I think when we called, they said they are out, uh, but they had set aside a certain number of shots for Saturday's drive through I think. Flu shot clinics, let's see. So this is the 23rd. So tomorrow is the um, sticker treat, which is for kids. November 3rd, there's a public drive-through. You know, I, I'm gonna have to ask her um, if this needs to be updated. I, I, I'm going to I'm going to ask her if the information needs to be updated, and then um, you know, I'm hesitant to go by this because I think things have been changing. Yeah, because I think uh, my wife just told me there was I think a nine to eleven schedule for that at uh, the Unity Park tomorrow. Hmm. And, and I assume if you go, you have to have all your paperwork filled out and the other copy Definitely. of your things. Yeah, that that I know you do. You you. I'll follow up with her and see if uh, we have uh, the most up-to-date information posted. I thought she posted a... Well, my wife and I plan on going tomorrow, so I really hope it's there. If not, we're going to go out for breakfast. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll follow up with you, Ron. Thank you. Okay. Um... Anything else? Everybody's good? Okay. Uh, I just need a motion to adjourn. Do you want to go back and do the minutes? Um, I guess we could. Now, well, Mike, are you here? Okay. Sure. If you are not, if you are not at the meeting, you cannot um, approve minutes. Okay. So I just need, so if we want to go back. Well, nobody was Would here we, except for me and Mike. Evie's not here anymore? Uh, I don't see Evie on the phone call. Okay. So. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, okay. So. You might want to wait since Ron can't vote. Right. I can't vote either. Right. Okay. And I don't see Evie. Is she on the call still? No, she's not. Okay. Bill is saying Bill is saying no. Okay. So that's all okay. right. Yeah, that's okay. Um so motion to adjourn then. Anyone? Yeah, motion to adjourn. Thanks, Ron. Second? Second. I'll Thanks. Thanks. All right. Everybody have a good week. 
and we'll see you next month.